Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Hank Strange. I'm joined by my friend John Crump from MLN News. John, welcome back here to the channel. Thank you. It's uh, always a pleasure. Absolutely. It is a pleasure. And I saw you on the uh, virtual 2A rally this past weekend. Congratulations. Yep. I was checking you out while I was running around doing errands with Lola. Well, thank you. Yes, uh, job well done. Um, if you guys want to check that out, they can they can go look up Two A Rally, right? Uh, correct. Uh, it's the if you go to Second Amendment the to the, the number two indie amendment rally dot com, it will be on there. Absolutely. So good job on that. Um, today we want to talk about some breaking news from Ammo Land News in regards to guess what ATF again. Up With to me. shenanigans. <laughs> and um, this particular one, uh, you've got some news that basically proves that the ATF doesn't care if we sue them for something that they do that's outside of their purview, right? That is correct. All right. So if you yep. – this this will be breaking today when, or when we air this. Um, can you just, like, fill us in on the story? I know you've um, you've probably got some, some documents and things like that that are a lot to sift through, so – what are we looking yeah. at? In Alabama, GOA is suing the ATF, also in Michigan, but this has to do with Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, GOA is suing the ATF in Alabama in a case called Lee versus the DOJ. Okay. What Alabama does, it allows you to use a concealed handgun permit in lieu of a NICS check because their concealed handgun permits meets the requirements for under – for uh, a next check, um, right. section 922T3 of Title 18, it meets the requirements. So gun owners should be able to use concealed handgun permits. The ATF has decided that they're not going to allow gun owners to use their concealed handgun permits in Alabama because some sheriffs were not running NICS checks. What they were running is NCIC checks. Okay. It's the system that NICS goes to. Mm -hmm. NICS goes to NCIC and pulls the record and then returns uh, approved or ten uh, denied. So these sheriffs are skipping the NICS part and just going directly to NCIC. Yeah, I mean, basically, um, it's the same same database. Yeah, it's the same database. Right. And just there's and there's a And there's a lot of states that actually have the same practice that if you have um, a CCW permit, you don't have to go through this uh, further background check, right? That That is correct. Okay. What, so the ATF told Alabama, the AG, that, hey, you cannot do this mm -hmm. anymore. They have to go through a NICS check because some of your sheriffs are using NCIC instead of NICS, even though it's basically pulling from the same database. Yeah. And it's the same results and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so what I found out through looking through the administrative record that I got my hands on was that their attorney, Eric Epstein, uh, seemed to imply that, Hey, we're going to get sued if we do this because it's an overreach. Right. And the ATF, um, several people at the ATF, uh, division chief, uh, Chrissy Carlson from the firearms explosive industry division of the ATF. Mm -hmm. And Kyle Lasek, who at uh, Lallan Sack, sorry, at the time he was the chief of the firearms industry uh, program branch or, or FIB, mm -hmm. basically responded uh, and said, hey, we don't care. Uh, Kyle Lallan Sack wrote, even if the litigation risk, even if there is a litigation risk, it is worth pursuing on public safety so, and uh, then Carlson stated, litigation risks are our least of our concerns. Yeah, I mean, obviously, they're basically denying us our Second Amendment rights, and then they're using our money, right? Taxpayer money goes towards funding the ATF, obviously. So they don't care if they get sued because they've got unlimited amounts of our money to, to put barriers in front of us. Yeah, correct. Yeah. It's totally ridiculous. So you're getting. It seems like you're getting a lot of these kinds of like document dumps. 
you know, um, I can you explain to us a little bit what's going on there? I'm just getting document dumped. That's all I can really that's say. That's all you can <laughs> say. Okay. <laughs> um, Nothing else. We can't get anything They're else. Good sources, and mm -hmm. uh, they are confirmed. Anything you see, I read about the ATF. Mm -hmm. It is confirmed. This was also signed off on by the ATF second in command, Marvin Richardson. Okay. We've heard this also, name so many times in the past weeks that you've been, because yep. you've been sifting through this information and bringing yeah, us more information here. Like we were talking about what's going on with the, uh, with the pistol braces and all that, right? It's the same guy from the pistol braces and acting mm -hmm. assistant director of enforcement programs and services. He was at the time, at least. Okay. Uh, Curtis Gilbert also signed off on it who you might also know as a guy that does not like pistol braces. Yeah, yeah. So guys, same yeah, lo yeah, lots of stuff going on here. Um, would you? How would you characterize this? We've, we've talked a lot about this. We've done videos, and we've put out snippets from the podcast. Um, would you say that we've got like a rogue ATF right now that under the Trump administration is trying to do everything at this particular moment to, um, like to uh, basically cut the legs out from under the Second Amendment and that it's political, politically uh, motivated? Well, this, uh, this I don't believe has the same effect as uh, what the, the pistol braces were doing. That mm -hmm. I think that was more politically motivated to hurt Trump than this is. Mm -hmm. I think this is just anti-gun people trying to make it harder for, for people to get their hands and be able to defend themselves, get their hands on guns, defend themselves. Correct. Uh, these are some of the same people that, you know, that reclassified bump stocks and everything. You see the same names, mm -hmm. the, the Curtis Gilberts and the Marvin Richardson's. Their names mm -hmm. pop up constantly in all these anti-gun rights mm -hmm. activities that, that's happening at the ATF. And they're doing this to every state that allows this, right? Like we said, there's several, I, I think there's more, there's a lot of states. Um, when I look at a list here, um, you know, uh, let me see. I think I have a, there's a list that I have somewhere here that just, uh, that shows a bunch. Uh, so here we go. I'll throw this up here on the screen for the folks out there looking at this. If you can even read this uh, tiny writing, I don't know if I could, if I could zoom it up a little bit. But this basically says us, uh, um, you know, uh, states that issue permits that qualify the holder for an exemption from a NICS check. Firearms law database, background checks, policy summary, San Francisco. This is all from, believe it or not, the Giffords Law Center. They're, they're sending this information out there so people know. You know, so they're, they're enabling people to go after these states. I see Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Michigan, Mississippi, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, uh, North Carolina, North Dakota, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Washington, Wyoming. Um, and I suppose I'm supposed to say Nevada, Nevada. Is that, I don't know if that's correct. Nevada. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you know, people always, the, people don't like the way I pronounce it. So there's a lot of states. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of states. So are they all getting hit or... Uh, or they, if they haven't yet, they will be. I know Michigan, uh, there's a lawsuit going on in okay. Michigan about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I, I I can imagine it's going to happen in multiple places. Okay, all right, cool. So um, your article should be out by the time we put this up. Uh, what else can folks out there do if they want to stay on top of all of this or maybe like keep up with you and all the different uh, things that you're discovering here? in these uh, document dumps? Well, they all go up on Amazon, but if uh, you want to see everything I do, you can just go to crumpy.com, C-R-U-M-P-Y.com. And you can, and that's where I post all my stuff now. Um, I've, I've learned my lessons by getting yeah. all my kicked off Facebook. Yeah, so you've now. been spanked by the Facebook gods. <laughs> yeah, so now I, I control, I, I activated an old website that I had, uh, mm -hmm just so I can post everything so if I get kicked off a platform I still have my own yeah interesting to me how these people don't like real journalism that's what I consider you to be you know I'm, I'm just I'm just a gun guy man and I'm just interested in this and I want to share it with the folks out there there's lots of people doing good work and keeping everyone uh, informed of what's going on out there but 
Um, I don't like the fact that they're going after you and punishing you, man. And you're you're, a ser- you're like a serious, real journalist um, out there trying to expose what's uh, basically uh, the the uh, degradation of the Second Amendment in America. Well, they went after the New York Post, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I doubt that they're gonna go after me and other yeah. journalists. At, yeah. Uh, well, you, like everything you're, you're punished is, by putting out the truth. Yeah, everything is uh, is is provable yeah if the folks out there want to um support you in some way help you to keep doing what you're doing is there a way they could do that i have a patreon and that's patreon.com slash john crump like everything from my patreon goes to uh or any or if you purchase something on black swan tactical.com um i i don't really keep any of the money i use money for different projects uh we did a project where we bought a, a a handgun for a single mom and got her training uh, right now, we are raising money for a nine-year-old with uh, brain cancer. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did uh, bought PPE for hospital workers um, up at uh, up in New York. We did that, so we just do all sorts of things. And uh, if I need money to like travel or something, which I usually don't, I usually can get that funded by other means. Then, then yeah, I would pull from there. But I haven't had to do that yet. Okay. All right. Good. And in terms of me. If you guys want to support me, go to HankStrange.com. You could uh, find lots of different ways that you could support our efforts here, including you can find a link to this cool LotLow, which stands for Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Um, that's the website, cha- the uh, channel for the podcast, excuse me, where we, th- where we do the podcast live Monday to Friday. So check that out. Sometimes John's on there as well as lots of other folks. And we talk about a lot of things going on in the gun world, the industry, news, politics, um, and stuff like this. So, uh, I don't know. It looks like, looks like I lost Crumpy there for a second, but I think he got everything out that, uh, that he wanted to get out. And uh, we'll just, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just finish this up with me. Thanks so much, guys. We will see you uh, next time around here. We're out of here. Peace. P- peace out from Crumpy, too, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think he had another call he had to go to.